So today and this whole weekend is about making. Um, and probably the uh, coolest quote about making that I know is from Gandhiji. And it's, uh, be the change you want to see in the world. We seem to have a lot to complain about, but I'd like to make the point that we also have a lot to smile about. Who here is not a friendly person? Raise your hand. There's a brave man over, over there, right there. Who here looks at other people as threats or inconveniences? Raise your hand. Who here walks down the street and goes <coughs> at other people just because you can? That's your friend saying it. Don't believe it. It's not true. So, if we consciously don't want to be unfriendly, tell me why it is that we as a nation have this unfortunate reputation for being these doer, unsmiling, generally miserable sods. We even have a word for it, ponurak. Uh, the foreigners, you can look, you, you can look that up. It's, it's an interesting word. Don't take my word for it. Philip Zimbardo, best known for the Stanford prison experiment, maybe that has something to do with it. He was quoted in an interview not long ago. He said that, I have noticed you, the Polish, are often pessimistic. The Daily Mail ran a um, study um, of uh, the f levels of friendliness in nine European countries in 2010. Uh, we came last. Lonely Planet warns its uh, readers uh, to expect that people who inhabit this here uh, place don't smile very often. And even Gallup did a poll of, of, of uh, friendliness earlier this year um, of all the European countries, and we came second last. Now, we can deny this, and we can say that it's not happening, and we can say, actually, it's not as bad as it, as it could be, because, I mean, really, it was second last, you know. Or we can decide that it's, it's a bit of a problem, and we can do something about it. Who here had a um, friendly, smiling interaction with someone today, or better yesterday, because I know that you guys, you guys are not normal. <laughs> you are not average people. I mean outside, out in the streets of this delightful city. See, that's good, that's good, that's some, but we need more. We need more because we need to look this Ponurak monster in the eye and say, you are not going to cause me any more trouble. How are we going to do this? Now, this is just a little social campaign, and I'm not quite nearly as naive as some of my wonderful uh, fellow speakers, and I actually believe that this is going to take uh, a lot of effort. Uh, but I think this is a start, and start we have to for a whole lot of reasons. Only some have to do with um, improving the perception that uh, maybe tourists uh, take away when they, when they go home. Uh, two weeks ago, uh, I got together with um, a bunch of uh, friends who, act, who produce videos, and um, we decided that actually there was an opportunity coming up on uh, this Friday, and I am very grateful to Eva and the team for uh, allowing us this surprise visit. Who thinks smiling is good for the health? See? Of course it is. It reduces stress levels, and we all know how much of a killer stress is. But smiling does a whole lot of other things. Smiling, ladies and gentlemen, is good for business. Who here is in business? Who has a job? Two jobs. Three jobs. This is for you. This actually, this is for us. Smiling is good for business. Why? Because friendly people are trusted more. 
trusted people work better with others. If you work better with others, you achieve more, you are more successful. It's a simple equation. Let's smile our way to success. Do you think you need to be successful in order to be happy? So that then you have something to smile about? Because, uh, exactly, because there is lots of evidence that points exactly the other way. Happy first, then successful. I could go on about this for the next, I don't know, however long do we have in this session now? So no waving, waving, yes. Um, it's probably easier if I simply ask our good friends there to, uh, to play the video in a minute. But one last thing. I'm hoping that this will become contagious. I'm hoping this, this will become so contagious that next time Lonely Planet does a uh, guidebook, they will be able to say that this place is full of happy, smiling people. Because uh, a friend of mine is fond of repeating, only build the future you want. Quite seriously, this is a room full of makers, a room full of hackers. So here's a suggestion. Let's hack our, our hardware. Let's hack our faces and rewire them for a new default setting. Smile on. Thank you. Play the video.